Have you ever just blown it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and it, definitely. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you want. <laughs> <laughs> then what? Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like to be a really expressive player means that I have to live with that it's a little bit of an unsafe endeavor. endeavor. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to make mistakes because I'm trying to be expressive, then then either it's going to be great or there's every now and then it's like really great big mistakes for sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and as opposed to a controlled, maybe perhaps boring, yeah. But, more perfect performance uh -huh. and I, I really try hard to let that go that's a little bit I think in all of our training classical musicians are trained uh -huh. for that level of perfection and control uh -huh. that I don't find interesting as a musician uh -huh. but it does happen and then you have to practice extra hard <laughs> to let it go yeah <laughs> and yeah. when I'm doing something solo really solo uh -huh. then I can just engage the audience with that which is kind of fun because uh -huh. that's sure not what I learned at school <laughs> like oops yeah <laughs> But in other cases, I think perhaps for me, what's a huge mistake might sometimes not even be noticeable. Sometimes they really are like just uh -huh. in your face, really loud, wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it happens. I mean, I'm like, well, then do it with courage and uh -huh. grace. Uh -huh. You know, oh well. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, the, it's what happens when you live on that edge of, yeah. of like expression, I think. The risk is worth the it. The risk is so worth it. Yeah. Even though I, afterwards I'm like, ah. <laughs> but still, uh -huh. I haven't changed my opinion for a long time. But that's the point, yeah.